Here we are, Pro Tour Day with Daryl Gurney. Day number two. Daryl, looking to go one better than yesterday, I'm guessing? Yes. Um, beat in the last 16, whereas I missed three clear darts to beat uh, Ron. Uh, my own fault for missing, but I was unlucky with second there, blocked it. Um, but any, I mean, the last leg, geez, he went five all, he went 140, 180, 140. And I, I think I was on 116 whenever he took it out, so. Uh, one better would be great. Uh, another few pounds on the rankings. Um, yeah, that's the plan anyway. I guess people don't realise how early it actually is that we turn up at these pro tours. It is now nine o'clock. Yeah. It is early. It is early, but uh, I mean, this is one of the darts. I mean, I got up at seven to go for breakfast. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? This is kind of, I got an, an extra hour in bed to come here. So, uh, and whenever you've got a son that's getting up at half five, it's kind of actually not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're just going to walk in. I say this, this, this is the glamour stuff but off TV that no one actually sees, isn't yes. it? This is the, the, the multi 15 star venue that we're playing in <laughs> the Barnsley Metrodome. <laughs> the Barnsley Metrodome. Only joking, it's a good. It's good. It's my favourite venue. Good morning, Daryl. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Philip. How are you in your posh words? Very well, very well. <laughs> Do you agree, Daryl, that the ranking should be changed? Because James Wade. No, I totally ranking. agree with whatever you're going to say, not what he's going to say. The worst defeat we've had. Uh, the best win was. Uh, mine had that was the best day ever. Easy. Yeah. What was the best? The worst. The worst time we've both not spoke to each other for ages. Uh, whenever was it Mensa beat me? Yeah, Mensa. Yeah, the... But I beat I beat, I beat Michael. You fought him to Mensa. Ah, yeah, but he took it like two one thirty or one forty finishes. The older son. The older son. And then you never talked to me for hours. Four hours. Four hours. You had to talk to me. I said. I, I says you okay? <laughs> What about Henderson of the world? That was a terrible day. Uh, that was not really, day. because it was a good game. So he yeah. talked to me all that we had. A, we had an hour journey back to the hotel. Yeah, an hour journey to the airport. Yeah, but we left straight away, so it was like it was disappointing. I got beat in the words. Yeah. If you don't, if, you, if you're not disappointed, get beat in the words. Don't throw darts. Uh, well, tell if I'm because I don't go the Euro tours. Tell the tell the process different. the process of what happened. You play on a Saturday. If you win, what do you yeah. do? What? Play on a Saturday, you win. What's the first thing you do? Text you. You see when I'm playing, yeah. and then you ring Graham Ferris. Ferris, and then and then I text Graham. So both of us text him when he texts him. We're on. And then what happens if you lose on the Sunday? When do we? What do I do? I just send you flights. You just send me the flight details, and then he'll send me. Hey, before I get to the front door of the house, you've already sent me the next flight details. <laughs> Oh, and we don't talk to each other on a Tuesday yeah. if you've lost. No. Yeah. You don't talk to me because that's I'm just what you do. <laughs> I'm not mad, but it's not the world. You're mad. Oh, Hold no. on. You're mad with me. You're, you're, you like taking cards on me when you do. No, I don't. No, I don't. You've got this weird thing. Go out there. Let's this, this show a video of you kicking a bin over after Jimmy Hughes has missed or lost or something. Yeah. Yeah. Can I show it? I'll show it. Have you got it? Go on. What did you send it on? What, MDA, what's up? MDA, that's what oh, what's up? Sorry, we're, we're getting to the climax. Oh, look, oh, he's up. He's taking the <laughs> No, he walks past the van and then comes straight back. What? No, he comes straight back. I can't see. <laughs> what do you see? Now, now he fixes the van. Now, you know what? The reason I did that is because the, 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 the fans of it was all over the floor, so I had to pick it up, so it was dripping everywhere. So I was like, so then I just walk around for about an hour. When you lost to Blackpool, three hours in the rain in Blackpool, just getting pelted on. I'm going to jump off the pier there. Oh God, don't say that. What other stuff what about Black, 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 Blackpool? Uh, not Blackpool, the other place. Uh, the other seaside place. Brighton. 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 Right, we're watching, tell that story. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> I'll tell that story, right? So, so it's beach, is it? Right, we ju uh, just beach, is it? So obviously, uh, if Gary wins, he goes through, and if Michael beats Gary, I'm through. And um, you're, you're, he's obviously going mad. He's thinking about everything could go wrong or go right. And I says, Matt, don't worry about it. Whatever happens, happens. We had a big argument, actually, because you didn't want to watch it. I, I said, because it was on the BBC, and we could watch it in the hotel room. I says, I don't want to see it. And so I put on my earphones, and I'm watching uh, the British touring cars. <laughs> and uh, I'm just watching Matt 
pace it up and down the road for 19 legs. Uh, and then I knew it was going bad, uh, and I knew it was over whenever he starts punching the bed. <laughs> doing that one forty one head. He took it all. Sat in the corner. Yeah. Like he, uh, <laughs> he, he just started punching the bed and kicking the crap out of the bed. <laughs> Put out all of my earphones. I go, told you. I put, a, put the earphones back and continue watching the British touring car. Hannah, hands <laughs> under the hammer in Skegness. Daryl, <laughs> looking, looking forward to having a look around some of these. Uh, yes, we're going to see what they're like. Um, outside looks promising, but inside is where people live, and that's where we need to check. Are you, are you convinced on Matthew's theory of buying property yet, or are you still to be convinced here? Um, no, he, he, he's right, but it's just finding the right place because obviously I want to find somewhere that doesn't need a lot of maintenance. If all the if it ticks all the boxes, that there's no damp. Number one thing, make sure there's no damp in the building. Uh, but electrics, plumbing, uh, and obviously space. And if it's uh, if you think you would live there yourself, well, it'd be good there for. Uh, I don't know, renting out then. Yeah, yeah. here he is, Great the, the estate agent. Benito's just took out 103 for 12 darts to break the throw and win 6-5. Oh, how exciting. We're not well supposed done, to be talking about darts, are we? Oh, what are we talking about? Property? Yeah. That was a fine, fine investment, Mrs. Dow. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> Lovely. Lovely. Let's go and look at it, shall we? I've got a mountain spare key in the car, actually. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Hey, hello. hello. How are you? Oh, right. Thank you. It's a nice, uh, nice one. Mm -hmm. Number three. Number three, you were number, th you were number three. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Now, you're not. Now, we'll have to go and see number six, seven, eight, <laughs> somewhere down. Don't, don't go in and over. Don't go no, in. Uh, it looks like I'll be getting rid of you. <laughs> it's nice, isn't it? It's nice. Oh, fresh kitchen. Yeah, it's lovely. Nice. Nice kitchen in the living room. I think the living room and bedroom sort of the same thing. Yeah. It's a good side of the room, isn't it? Yeah, bathroom's nice as well. Pretty new, pretty new. Come, come sit down here, Darrell. Sit down sit there. Down where? Gurney Muse. Sit in that corner, just reflect. Have, have you got something like a. Just look at your phone. And just reflect on your Grand Prix. Right reflect. <laughs> you ever watch Mr. Tumble when he goes, Today, I'm, I'm Harry half asleep or something? He says. You know, like, I tell you what, you know, Tom Hardy did all the kids' stuff. You could take over from him. You look a bit like no. Tom Hardy. I wish. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just reflect on your Grand Prix, just reflect. Horrible experience. <laughs> 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 so first impressions? Nice. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's nice. Um, spacious. Because I'm a plumber by trade, bathroom looks good, it looks like it's pretty fresh. And Super chin under the Weight Watch. Super, super chin chips. Did you watch it in Dublin? I don't know whether I did The one in Dublin with the double off? With the ah, I watched it all. What happened in Dublin? Oh, it very good. No, yes. what did they do? Shit. Who gets shit? Then another time in murders the fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Don't have to swear, do you? 
Oh, How long have you known Daryl? It's normal, though, it's all years. What do you think of him? He's all right, kid. All right. Do you remember when he beat Van Gerwen in the Players' Championship? Oh, I can, yes. What yes. did you do that day? Oh, fucking lovely. My baby, fucking said. Did you cry? <laughs> I did. There you go. Yeah. So you're going to wish him luck? I am. Well, I didn't know Van Beebe. <laughs> I didn't, don't I? <clears throat> what, where's Go, Daryl. Go on, dude. Uh, video day. Yes, Champions where are we going first? first? Well, yeah, I don't know, Talk Sport? Radio Leicester. Radio Leicester, sorry. Yes. Where's the event? Leicester. Leicester, yay. <laughs> <laughs> this is us. Oh, and the good rocks. Yeah. I've got a similar one of these. Alright. Alright. Oh, no. right. You still filming? Yeah. Why? Well, it's a week in the life, isn't it? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. So what did I, what went Nando's last night anyway? Went Nando's last night. Uh, took took 20, 25 minutes, half an hour to get me. What a fried chicken. Yeah. And Thanks then for that. you turned me off at the hotel and then I seen you five minutes ago. Yes. So I picked up a cob for you. Picked up a card, yes. And it was still warm. You argue with me that it wouldn't be warm. It's just wrap it in foil. Look after you tonight. No, you don't. You're horrible. <laughs> <laughs> this is Leicester. Yeah, it's a place. The worst place for a one-way system. Yeah, it's a bit. I'm parked down there somewhere. I hope you get a ticket. No, I've paid all day. Oh, so we're on his way to do some Radio Leicester interviews. Yes. With, uh, what's the presenter's name? Good question, I don't know. Martin Summer, Ballard. As a sign saying congratulations to Mark Selwyn. Yeah, Martin Ballard. Martin Ballard, yeah. What is there? On the wall there, I think only when he's world title. It's a fame. The world is like just the same as this. Yeah. I enjoy it, man. Have a seat for a second. I'll show you in about 10 past quarter past. Drink of anything? Cup of tea, please. Water. 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 Hi, good to see you. How's it going? Nice to do some social media work. Yeah. I, I understand I elevated you to uh, world number three. But that's, I think that's where you should be. I think uh, it should be number one. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it was literally last week I was number three. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah but we won't mention that. Yeah, yeah listen, <laughs> you're, still, you're still number three as far as I'm concerned. Yes, yeah, there you go. So. Brilliant. So we'll talk about the, uh, the tournament, obviously, but we'll talk about uh, what you're doing tomorrow night, which is um, the film in your head. Yeah, so we'll talk about why why, and, and give the, just giving details out as well. If you need any information about that, just... Preparations, everything. Yeah. Um, so uh, that's why I put on all, you put on all the hard work at home uh, and then come to the competitions and you're ready. And some weeks, just with being a, a dad or whatever, sometimes uh, it's limited. Um, but I know that uh, whenever I do my practice, I know I can be 100% ready. Uh, it's less, uh, it's one thing less to worry about. Do you have any problems with injuries, you know, um, um, including your throwing arm? Uh, my arm, uh, my arm gets sore time to time, but now I just kind of, I'm used to it. So if it hurts sore more than another day, you kind of just have a warm bath and bathe it maybe. Yeah. Uh, but I remember being younger and practicing too much and I used to have a bandage on my, my right knee and uh, I played in a competition and I was in the semi-final of the youth competition I threw the dirt and my elbow popped out. So I uh, went into the toilet, I took off the bandage off my leg, put it on my arm 
went to walk out of the, the cubicle and fell over. <laughs> so I had to go back in and put it on my knee again. But uh, I think it's just from uh, doing too much practice. Did you walk in the mall? The first tournament you ever played in, how old were you? And did you just really want it? I was 12. The first person who told you was that you had a name. My dad. And I was aged. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, probably every moment now. When in the Players' Championship being the MVG in the final. Three missed doubles, you could go back and have another three doubles. Maybe uh, the final of the World Series in St. Louis last year. You lost the match. I lost the match. I'm going to give you a category. It will be known to you go in first to tell me how many answers, how many answers to this category you give me in 30 seconds. You'll give me a number, and it's down to you to either say, I don't know, if I can get a higher number. Or you can say, Bull, Gary, Bull, you won't do that. <laughs> and he will have to do it in 30 seconds. Yeah. We're going to go back and forth in an auction style situation, and then we'll start the timer and see if they can get it. Okay. So we start with you, Gary. I want you to name as many European Tour cities from the 2019 Euro Tour, the best tour in professional sport, as you can in 30 seconds. How many do you think you can name? I'm going to say five. Five. It says five. <laughs> Straight away, I was like... <laughs> uh, I can say six. Six? He's saying six. Can you beat six? Can you? Uh, I'll try seven. Seven? It's back on you, Dan. This is I'll say bull. Bull! Ah, no, I bull is <laughs> that! <laughs> oh, I didn't go in! No! Alright, so I've got 30 seconds. You have got 30 seconds. As soon as I can set this time of running, which I cannot do right now because it's not my phone yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. No, you've given it more time than I have. I wasn't thinking. Yeah, you have 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Time. You have 30 seconds, Gawain, to name. Seven European Tour cities from 2019, starting now. Risa. Sindelfingen. Prague. That's three. Three. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Half your time is up. Um, Can you not halfway there? Yeah. That one is one. Mannheim. Mannheim is four. Oh. Five seconds. Leipzig. Two seconds. Is that right? It doesn't matter. The time is up. <laughs> Point to Daryl Gurney. Yes. He was right to call ball. <laughs> Daryl. Yes. We're now going to start with you. Okay. That's the next question. That's a very good question. <laughs> and it's an answer I don't have. Yes. <laughs> chocolate bar. I know. Types good. of chocolate bar. What? Types of chocolate bar. The question. I know. I hate chocolate. Crisps. <laughs> mm. It doesn't matter what snacks you want. No. Yeah. It's how many you can name in thirty seconds. Types of chocolate bar. How many can you name? Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Eight. He's very confident in it. I'm going ahead. I'm going. Um. I'll go nine. Nine. Try ten. I will go. Bull, he said. I'm going to do this. I know, yeah. You couldn't answer the darts question correctly. Can you answer the question about <laughs> Ten bars of chocolate. Ten bars of chocolate. Look at him. You don't think he eats chocolate. I eat chocolate. I eat everything. But if I'm breathing in. <laughs> You're breathing in. I'm always breathing in. You cannot give us ten different types of protein bar. That will not count. <laughs> chocolate's easier. Chocolate's easier. Right. right. Ten. We're ten. Ready to go. I'll just do it on mine. God, save man. <laughs> no, no, audio's on that one. Audio's on that one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Audio's on that one. It's another 10 seconds he's got there. No, he's, right. oh, he's over here looking over here concentrating. This thing, I mean, they're getting... There's no chocolate down there. I think he's going to get... Did we say 10? I think he's going to get 10. 10. <laughs> Your time starts now. Mars, Snicker, Bondi, Starbar. Um... 
dairy milk. Ten seconds gone. I don't want to say that one. Um, <laughs> I don't know what you were going to a say. A dime bar. A dime bar. That's chocolate, yeah. Stewards, but we'll we'll go with it. Carry on. Twenty-two seconds gone. Caramel. Three more needed. Three seconds to go. Gerwin Price has been talking ball all game. Another point for Derwin. Like Turn easy. Like I wouldn't have. He wouldn't have. I would have. Yeah. Don't want to put your plug in. <laughs> Alright, first shot, 180. No. Go. Oh. <laughs> Around that. Put that on the side of the phone. <laughs> oh, what cool thing is that? It doesn't really look so cool as that. You're still using Brother Matt. Look at his hair, he's nearly 50, look at all that. <laughs> is that blood? Is that blood? That's an extra fiber. That's an extra fiber. It looks terrible. Paul, how many viewers you got? <laughs> Talk about your week this past week. What's it been like? Uh, very busy. Uh, from being Monday and Tuesday pro tours, Wednesday Skegness, Thursday uh, doing uh, other stuff, and then travel to Leicester on the Thursday night to get ready for media day on the Friday. How do you think your Champions League of Darts campaign went? Your first game against Peter Wright? Uh, I was the dog doo doo against him. Uh, even though I was still in front, I sh should have closed out the game. I had chances. Never done it. Uh, then beat Rob Cross, which was lovely. Uh, and then Gurwin beat me. So um, Gurwin was a better player, he deserved to win. But uh, at the same time, I should have beat Peter, so uh, I had the opportunity to win two games, and I missed it. And if you'd have won them two games, you'd have probably gone out anyway with the last. <laughs> no, I don't know. If I ever won them two games, I would have got three. But it's just the way the cookie crumbles. Are you, uh, Carl, over there? Look, cooking two lovely meals uh, for the week for us and Phil. Yes, uh, today we had chips, chicken wrapped in uh, bacon, and then the other night we had steaks, coloured steaks, with chips and either pepper sauce or gravy. Lovely. Lovely. So, a few days off, back home tomorrow, then on the road to Germany on Wednesday. Yes, uh, a full, massive day and a half home, uh, and then, as you say, uh, European Championship starts and I play Willie O'Connor on Thursday. Me, you and Yaza? Yes. The bold man. 
two bald men and um, a recently shaved bald man. Yes, the three of us all bald. We'll get a good picture. I'll be a good picture of <coughs> that one. Uh, if you're blind, yes. Yes, right. Okay, okay, then we shall see you, see you all later, shall we? We shall. And watch Man United are currently winning 1 0. Which has been a very horrific game, but somehow they're winning. Uh, if it ends, I guess they'll take it. But I still see Liverpool score. Carl McIntyre is a Liverpool fan. Um, most of the NBA are Liverpool fans. Yeah, I'm an idiot. <laughs> yeah, but there's still 17 minutes left, so I still expect. Liverpool to score should it be to make a 2-1 or 1-0 I don't know alright then well see you all later